on Inkinawea. Bonjour tout le monde. Zongabwe Dijnikaz, Bizing Dunjaba. Hi everyone, Chief Scott McLeod here, and November 2nd to the 6th, 2020, is Treaty Recognition Week. This annual event honors the importance of treaties and helps students and all citizens alike to learn more about our shared history, relationships, treaty obligations, and protected rights. You see, treaties are legally binding agreements that set out the rights, responsibilities, and relationships between First Nations and federal and provincial governments. They form the basis of the relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people and were the foundation on which Canada was built. Although many of these treaties were signed more than a century ago, treaty commitments are just as valid today as they were then. First Nations were the original occupants of this land we now call Canada. And the British Crown, now recognized as the Canadian government, negotiated with First Nations and signed treaties with the spirit and intent of delivering mutual benefits. For First Nations, this meant pro protecting their inherent way of life, and for the British Crown, it meant expanding economic opportunities. Both the British Crown and First Nations signed as independent self-governing nations. Despite the promise of early treaties and the mutually respectful partnerships they established, Indigenous peoples were targeted by colonial policies designed to exploit, assimilate, and er eradicate them. Today, we are working to rebuild the trust and relationships between Canadian, federal, and provincial governments and Indigenous nations. Ontario alone is covered by some 46 treaties and other agreements. Part of this effort includes educating Canadians about the role treaties play in our lives and relationships with each other today. So remember, November 2nd to the 6th, 2020 is Treaty Week. Please take the time to learn more about your heritage as a proud Canadian and our shared history. Thank you. Merci. Miigwech for listening. Bon appétit.